a look now how to use the morph tool to do some custom extrusion as well. We just did this with the uh, profile manager or the complex profile and it was a little bit fiddly because it didn't like the idea of turning the axis around zero with a wall. Now this is a lot easier when we're using the, the morph tool. Let's have a look at how we do that. I'm going to select my morph tool. It always helps, sorry, that we've got the two-dimensional shape drawn and currently that two-dimensional shape is a fill. And a fill is great because we know it's closed. It doesn't have any openings. So that's a good way to start. Now we're going to use the morph tool. Now it's always good to have the status bar open. If I need to know where that is, under window, palettes, status bar. Because the status bar gives us hints as what we need to do. So in my morph tool, tool you can see that there's the different types of options and I'm going to choose the last one because it's the revolved option and of course that already looks like a vase or a pot and that is exactly what we're trying to make and then over here is the material that we're going to make it out of or the fill that we're going to yeah the building material that we're going to make it out of so I'm just going to choose solid fill for now I don't mind exactly what it looks like we can always change the surface of that later and that's important okay now we're going to select the morph tool we need to determine, enter the first node of polygon profile of, revol of revolved morph. So I could draw the shape or I could magic wand the shape. And again, that's of course much, much easier. Now enter the first point of the revolution axis. So what am I defining? I'm defining the axis point or the mirror point. So I'm clicking on my mirror point and then of course I could do that around any axis. I want to define it as a vertical axis revolution angle. Do I want it to be a semicircle or a complete circle? In this case, of course, I want it to be a complete circle, 360 degrees. And now select, and there's our pot. So much simpler, much easier. Of course, the only problem is it's a morph. That's not a big problem. It just means uh, it's it's not a wall or a beam, but we could use it like a morph and we could do other things with it like a morph. Now the only other silly thing is it's sideways and I don't really want it sideways, I want it vertical. So how do I fix that? We've looked at this before, but it's quite easy. Let's select a slab, I like doing it like this. There's different ways, uh, but this is my preferred method. I'm just going to make this a meter by a meter by a meter. There we go. So we've got a a slab and we've got a morph and I'm going to use my morph just to help me to turn this around. Sorry, I'm going to use my slab to help me turn the morph around. I'm going to select the morph. I have to click on a morph edge point and that's rather difficult on an object like this. Let's find that point. There it is. And I want free rotate. Now I need to choose the axis and I've drawn the slab so that I can find my axis easily. And I want to rotate this so it's facing vertically. Of course, understanding what that means in three dimensions can be tricky, but there we go. And of course, the beautiful thing about a morph is that we can turn it around any axis we want and then we can see exactly what it looks like in 3D. Now I can select this, go into the settings, and change my surface material. I'm going to choose concrete raw because it will show up nicely. And now we can see what my pot looks like. Now we can render this later to see how it goes and, and add in all the detail if we like. But that's pretty simply it. The next video we're going to have a look at is how to make this into an object. Why? Because we might want to use this in other projects and saving something as an object is a really good way to be able to repeat it, edit it and use it again.